are watching BNS News. Today's headline: South Korean investors won Bitex with one twenty two million dollars, outpacing TSMC. Russia to clarify cryptocurrency mining gray areas, including payment. Hong Kong-based asset manager VSFG and value partners apply for spot Bitcoin ETF. Hong Kong Skions released on bail in South Korean crypto slash fund prop. Pennsylvania state crypto miners sued for polluting environment. FME warns against crypto clones and unlicensed reform in latest alert. Portugal hits Sam Altman world coins with data collection ban. Bid deal to raise $100 million to expand Bitcoin mining facility. Chain GPT and Polygon Labs alliances boost NFT development, set stage for Matic rebound. KuCoin suffers from $500 million exodus. Injective launches Ionic upgrade activates access to Ethereum. Munchables hackers return $62.8 million Ether without ransom. In March, South Korean investors exhibited remarkable interest in the volatility shares to X Bitcoin strategy ETF, injecting a substantial $122 million into the fund. This surge propelled BitX to the positions of fifth most purchased foreign security in South Korea, outpacing well known entities such as Tesla and TSMC. Anton Solonov, the finance minister of Russia, is prepared to discuss the gray areas surrounding cryptocurrency mining and the use of its proceedings for payments. In recent lectures, Solonov stated that the government needed to agree on what can be done with the cryptocurrency and what cannot be done, recognizing the issues had been discussed for years. Asset manager VSFG, together with its partner Value Partners, have applied a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund with Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission. VSFG's head of investment and products, Brian Chan, told Coindesk to Wednesday. A South Korean court has released the son of software giant Hancom's group's chairmen on bail as prosecutors continue to probe an alleged to crypto slush fund. Officials have been investigating allegations since 2021 when reports began surfacing surroundings. The Hancom group chairman, King Sang Chiol. Pennsylvania state has failed to protect its residents from a crypto mining rigged carbon dioxide emissions. A court filing read on Tuesday, a Pennsylvania environmental NGO, Safe Carbon County, filed lawsuits in state court accusing stronghold digital mining. The company has been reportedly burning waste coal and tires to produce energy for its crypto mining operations. According to information provided by FMA, BDC SWE is legally operating cryptocurrency exchange in New Zealand. However, in recent weeks, someone has been impersonating its representatives contacting consumers and promising the possibility of recovering fund loss during unsuccessful investments. Portugal's National Data Protection Commission has banned world coins from collecting biometric data on citizens for three months. As per the sources familiar with the matter, popular crypto miner Bitdeer Technologies is looking to raise over $100 million from private credit firms. As a part of its expansion plans, this development comes three weeks ahead of the upcoming Bitcoin halving, which would be a game-changing event for the miners.